I have a few ideal patients. Um, you know, one is a patient that comes in and, you know, they say, I think I have a cavity or something. I'm not sure. Can you take a look? And I'm happy to sit down and just go through and not only take a look at that one particular problem, but also address maybe any other concerns that they might have and make them aware of other dental concerns or problems, or hopefully be able to give them the information that, hey, you just had that one cavity that you were worried about and let's get that taken care of and you be on your way and we'll have you come back and follow up with other care, cleanings and so forth. My other ideal patient is the patient in pain, uh, tooth infections that have what we call abscessed, maybe causing swelling and they're not able to, it's a Friday and not many other dental offices are open and they need to have that tooth taken out. With my advanced training, I'm able to offer that patient care and have them come in and give them relief from their pain. My other ideal patient is someone that comes in and they're looking for <clears throat> a better smile. They may not be happy with the color of their teeth or their wear, the way their teeth look. And being able to give them options as maybe we can reposition those teeth with braces or maybe some of those teeth are worn down and it'd be better to put some caps on them or crowns to help keep those teeth preserved. So really, when it comes to an ideal patient, it's all across the spectrum. I would say the fourth ideal patient for me is someone who's anxious and has had a bad dental experience. Uh, my practice has uh, quite a few patients who have come because they just have not liked going to the dentist before or had a bad dental experience. I'm very patient. I try to provide a compassionate, caring environment where the patient is in control. I am just an individual to come and help them and want them to know that they're in control and I am here to just aid them and make sure that they're comfortable through the dental care. And that's something that I found to be a wonderful patient to treat. And it's a real joy and pleasure to take someone who's been really anxious and then come back, maybe say after a few appointments of having to do dentistry and they feel so calm and comfortable and they're just telling their friends about what's going on and that they found a dentist that lets them be the boss in charge and if they need to raise their hand and stop me that's what it's about it's about having a caring relationship with your patients